all? Yes. Mm -hmm. It is 424, and I have a lot of extra time today, so I went through and organized my documents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can prove forgeries. Yeah. <laughs> it seems that elementary school students are informed about forgeries in the student handbook. You know, um, I wasn't very happy with the Brennan School District because um, as I look at it, somebody, yes, is using the wrong address, right, and the wrong uh, identification, yes. Now, um, I thought we would start today with the arrests uh -huh, and the dismissing of the cases. You know, I'm uh, a little upset at sheriffs. <laughs> now, yesterday, I told you that you can retire. And you decided that you weren't going to. Mm -hmm. So I, as a parent, decided to just kind of look at the 2018-2019 handbook. Yes. And they have what's known as a parental consent to publication. Uh-huh. Uh, publicity of the children. Mm. Now, this is the Brennan School District, number 46, right? Parent, guardian, mailing address, physical address. Oh, child lives with both parents, mother only, father only. Yes. Mm -hmm. Emergency information, parent, guardian, signature. Yes. Date, student birth certificate, immunization records are required to, 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 to complete enrollment. Yes. Now, I kind of Google my own last name, and quite often I see that my sons are in uh, publication. Yes. It's known as publicity. Pooch. And for every time this publicity consent form, yes, was used, uh huh, uh, student's name, Zachary Budnick, right, grade number 10. Oh, oh he's in the wrong grades. <clears throat> Uh, you may not publish my child's name or photograph. <laughs> Could you get me every publication right now? I'm going to sue all publications that have publicized, yes, my son's names mm -hmm, and their photographs. Do you understand, Sheriff? Now, Throughout the school year, the Brennan School District district photographs are taken of students participating in school activities. Yes. These photographs may appear in local newspapers or be used in the Brennan School District's newsletter and other publications, or we or may appear in the Brennan School District's website. Oh. Print parent guardian's name. Mm -hmm. Home phone. Yes. Uh-huh. Now there seems to be a problem with what is known as perjury, yes, and quite a few other laws that make it a crime to issue disillusions of marriage without any jurisdiction of law. Mm -hmm. See, I looked up what publicity is, yes, mm -hmm. and um, publicity is when you publish, yes, a certain amount of information. Oh, they have what's known as the Pulitzer Prize. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And these are prizes in journalism that are awarded for material appearing in U.S. newspapers published in print or online daily Sunday or at least once a week during the calendar year. Yes. Now, let's say that you're one of these Pulitzer Prize winning uh -huh, published ouch, newspapers in journalism. <coughs> And I find out that I emailed you, Los Angeles Times. Yes. And you decided that you would miss prison, child abuse, and neglect. Ouch. You would miss prison, felony. Poop. And then I would sue right now. You understand, Los Angeles Times? Yes. I think that any and all winners of all Pulitzer Prizes for the last three years yes. that received any knowledge mm -hmm, of violating the civil rights of American citizens, I am personally going to sue you for giving awards in journalism to newspapers and the media. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because of their refusal to report crime. 
Sheriff. You know, um, just thinking about this. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, in the actual student handbook at the Brendan School District. Yes. They have what is known as um, forgery. Oh, oh, oh. And they give an explanation of what forgery is used for. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if we can find it. Oh, did somebody do something? Because it should be right there. Mm. Now, let me just look just for a second because I just uploaded it. Oh, parent signature, BSD, oh, guide for public school students, student handbook 2018-2019. Mm. There are certain definitions of what is uh, not allowed in the school district. That's right, Trish. <clears throat> now, think about you being the civil rights coordinator. Well, life-threatening conditions. Yesterday, we talked about this two-count criminal complaint. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. About uh, the whole student directory information, student name, address, telephone number. Oh. Photographs for use. Mm -hmm. That's where I got the publicity consent form. Yes. P photographs for use in news media or in district produced publications will be released unless a mm -hmm. written objection by the parent guardian is on file. Ooch. See publicity consent form sent home Ooch. with mm -hmm. this handbook. Ooch. Now, as the father of five sons, you don't even know how much today is going to cost you, okay? <laughs> you have no you have no idea how much today is going to cost. Now, my sons, yes, are going to the Quilcene School District, yes. And I'm guessing that they have a similar student handbook and publicity form tray. <laughs> now, when you issued a a dissolution of marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. We mentioned it was a United Nations marriage certificate. Ooh. <laughs> and I spent a lot of time going through the Black's Law Dictionary. Yes. And we're going to talk about what's known as a consular marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you get me every embassy in every nation of the world? Yes. And every employee in every embassy and consulate. Yes. That has the legal authority. <laughs> get me every one of them. Now, I mentioned earlier today, yes, mm -hmm, that there is not a state in the United States that has the reciprocity with the United Nations to be able to dissolve that marriage. And you, Sheriff, mm -hmm, in every county of the state of Washington, decided that you were going to misprison each other's felonies right now. So we're going to talk about the consular marriage yes and the jurisdiction that you have to be able to dissolve the marriage <laughs> now just going through the student handbook of the brennan school district yes yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there are some very important terms <laughs> that are uh, a part of the staff's roles and responsibilities oh oh, oh. basic rules of the school emphasizing safety yes Respect and learning. Poop. I want every teacher in every school right now to understand you do not how expensive today's going to be. Now, just get me those embassies, mm -hmm. every consulate, pooch, and all the consular marriages that can be performed in an embassy of the world. And then every employee of all of them for the last 50 years. Now, student roles and responsibilities, Brennan School Rules. Okay, misbehavior and explanation of consequences. Now, it looks like you have some very good rules. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Then there's what's known as serious unacceptable behaviors. <laughs> and then there's extortion. Ouch, ouch. You, you could get in very serious, serious extortion. <laughs> Severe unacceptable behavior is assault. Yes, arson. <laughs> Malicious harassment. <clears throat> Intimidation. False 
fire alarm or bomb threat. Yes, intentional exposure of private body parts. <laughs> now, misuse of technology. <laughs> now, let's look at mm -hmm. consequences may include or but not but or but are not limited to behavior plan or contract. Which parent conference. Oh. <laughs> now, if you go down here, mm -hmm. You just keep going almost to the last page. Oh, look at Civil Title IX Coordinator Patricia Batard. Yes, BSD Superintendent Civil Rights. Yeah. Section 504 ADA Coordinator Patricia Batard. Now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to show you what it says, okay? You just go, keep going, keep going. You can do it. School rules, bus rules. Oh, look at all of these. Oh, student action plans, all these evaluation. Family Privacy Act. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The annual yearbook. Can you get me one of those? <clears throat> and then... Complaint options. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Sexual harassment. Oop. Discrimination and sexual harassment. Oh, oh, oh. School district responds to your complaint. Did you think it was a complaint right now? <clears throat> when I emailed all the super appeal to the school district, complaint to the OSP app. I emailed numerous attorneys at equity at kw.wa.us <laughs> for approximately the last two and a half years. Now, give me every employee office of provision of public instruction. Now, here's a word that we're going to look at. Forgery. Oh, forgery. Pooh. Forgery. Uh, the reproduction of another person's signature or work for fraudulent purposes. It's called a reproduction of another person's signature. <clears throat> now, now, every one of you don't... don't, don't, don't 